Hello and welcome to Awesome Activity Friday. I'm Mrs. O. And my name is Mrs. Angie. And we're going to be, each Friday, giving you something to do off of the list of awesomeness that helps you earn prizes for summer reading program. And today, we're going to be doing, there's one on the list that says, make an origami animal. An animal! Yes! And we have lots of books about origami, if you need some help, um, or there's videos online. So we have a lot of books about how to make animal origami. And today, we're going to take it a little step further and make them origami animal bookmark. Yes! Yes. That's great! Yeah. For all that reading you're going to be doing this summer, you need something to hold your place. That's fun. And it, it's the whole thing. It looks like a good book, too. Yeah, yeah. This is Trouble with Chickens. So we have <laughs> a little chick bookmark there. It's cute. And we have a little frog one here. And, and this is what else? Is this like a hippo? <laughs> the donkey. Oh, it's a donkey. Yeah, I like <laughs> And. Um, it's, it's you. It's <laughs> Awesome. And there are so many examples online. Miss Angie and I got pretty excited looking at it. Yes. We, if we had extra time, we'd probably be spending some time making some more. But we're going to show you how to do this right now. Okay, first of all, you need to have a square piece of paper. So, um, I use 5x5. Five so if you take any measure with a ruler, um, oops, to the why, why does it need to be five by five? Uh, that was just a nice size for the book. Oh, if, if anything, I would go bigger, not smaller. That the donkey. Is I don't think that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to try to make it as straight as you can. That will affect our folding. Awesome. Yes. And so then you cut them. Mm -hmm. I've got you a square there too, Miss Andy. Oh, I'll try. Cool. All right. Sweet. So with origami, the, the straighter everything is, like, the better that you can make that a perfect square. The the better it will turn out, and the better that you make your folds, the more precise, I should say, you make your folds, the better it will turn out. So, we're going to first, we're going to take one corner and fold it up to the other corner. And we're going to make it as tight as you can make it. Alright. Then you're going to take this end, this side, and go up to the middle point. I think I need my glasses first. <laughs> <laughs> and then take the other side. Okay. okay, then you're going to take this both back down. A lot of times when you you do that, you make fold and then reverse it for a little bit. Okay, then you're going to take one part, one half of this, and take this point down to the middle here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to take each side, and pull this like a pocket out, and tuck this down. Mm -hmm. Tuck it down. And there you got the basic part of your corner bookmark. Oh, this is great because this is like a blank canvas. Yes. I can make whatever I want out of it. Yes. It can be. And we would love to see all of your different creations. Um, I have a book here, The 14th Goldfish. You don't have to match your bookmark to the book, but I thought that was fun. That's awesome. Yeah, you could add a, cut out a oh, tail. Looks um, like a fish. Yeah, and turn it there and um, add all kinds of details. Um, if you have any of these paper hole reinforcements, they work as an eye. <laughs> um, and you can, you know, use your markers and that's cute. You do whatever whatever you think of in your head. It's 
however you want your bookmark to be. That's right. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for the Animal Origami Corner Bookmarks.